Hi, my name is Derek Miller. I'm from Six Nations of the Grand River. And my band, The Bliss Fiasco, we play shit stomping music. How did I get into music? I, I really liked singing when I was a kid. I really liked the pageantry of Kiss and uh, their makeup and spitting and blood and fire and stuff. I thought that was cool. Yeah, and then I started playing music at 13, playing guitar and just writing my own songs and whatever like that. And just learning different recording techniques and stuff. And I definitely have influence from uh, Link Ray and um, Hendrix and listening to Zeppelin and all those British um, blues acts that came over and regurgitated that stuff. It, it, it was amazing power in that music. and. Um, it's crazy because, you know, this, this current set, I'm so bored of traditional instruments and stuff like that and I've just been stuck to, you know, try and put something else together and, and you look at what DJs are doing and compared to, uh, say, a, um, a regular traditional artist or a singer-songwriter, it's like um, they're coming to war with a Gatling gun in, in bow and arrow wartime. Um, because they're armed with so many different sounds and stuff and in the ADD culture that we have it's it's kind of necessary to keep you know changing it up because I don't know I just I'm on a whole singularity kind of wavelength these days and exponential growth and stuff and it's just uh, it just seems like things are getting faster and, and changing quicker all the time and it's just technology too and, and how we relate to it so it, it's music in that era and stuff and how you distribute it and everything. It's just, it's pretty game changing stuff, man. I think uh, any time that we're celebrating as, you know, people and encouraging participation from other cultures and, and you know, just trying to humanize everything, and it's a great thing. And being part of, you know, Music Week like that is a chance to connect with everybody again and that, you, you know, they're off doing their own thing, but you, you get a chance to connect with some friends and discuss ideas and you know musicians today what am I listening to I, I see for me it's more so work centric sometimes because yeah. right now I'm, I'm really focused on the blueprint of American rock and roll and I'm doing a record for the Smithsonian um, that pays tribute to uh, the native artists that made an impact in, in mainstream so Artists like Charlie Patton, Link Ray, Jesse Ed Davis, Buffy St. Marie, uh, Pierre Lafarge, uh, Redbone, Richie Valens, uh, Randy Castillo from Ozzy's band, and um, Jim Pepper. So I've been listening to that music and, and kind of, you know, it's good for me too to go back and, and really see the development of American rock and roll and, and see, you know, where those things um, and influences and celebrate those things because it's it's important to understand it. it for me I don't know what it is but Native American uh, heritage and people with that blood they just seem to have such an instant connection with with within their 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 art or you know and their music and I, I watched Rodriguez on a on a TV program and, and breakfast time slot and do just figured out what he was feeling and he, he was like instantly connected and I was like wow that's crazy and you know, you know you see Hendrix and you know watch Link Ray and stuff and you can see that there's, there's this, this like primalness and you know and just this you know sexiness of it and I like that. Uh, the Double Trouble record was kind of strange this guy came out of nowhere and just said would you consider doing a record with Double Trouble and I was like yeah I'd, I would you know and he goes okay and I didn't hear from him for a couple months he comes back and he says they'll do it and I was like well, okay cool so um, we just worked it out and, and figured out you know how to accommodate them and um, that was it got the resources together and went down there and recorded it. It was an amazing experience, man. Talking with Tommy Shannon, the bass player, you get a sense, you know, here's a guy, he was at Woodstock. He played with Johnny Winter at Woodstock. And he remembers, he was telling me, coming in on the helicopters and, you know, he played with Stevie Ray Vaughan. He, he, played, had, he had Jimi Hendrix bass. He was doing tracks with Jimi Hendrix bass. And, so, yeah, yeah. It's, 
kind of blows your mind when you're in those sorts of situations, but stay calm and carry on. <laughs> For me, technology right now, I'm, I'm definitely trying to figure out how to do that stuff. And, and I would love to, you know, learn more about it. And then even the visual component of, um, you know, creating a story in a backdrop while I'm playing music, I'm trying to work on that with a, my buddy on the res there. And, and, I want to just give other elements to your senses when you come to a Derek Miller show and, and that's I'm just getting bored of you know just sitting up there and playing my guitar and singing and I, I need to find other things and that's why I jumped in the race car and that's why I started TV and and now I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to develop my own you know movie and stuff and it's just I just want to be creative and you know I'm always going to make music and no matter what, it don't matter if it's, you know, here or there or whatever, I'll, I'll figure out what expression I need to get out of me because that's what I do, I'm an artist. It's... Hi, I'm Derek Miller, you're watching Digital Drum.